what's up this is blondie so something interesting has happened after just three days of having my first vlog online i had to go and delete it i think i'm really doing well at this vlogging thing <laughs> so you might be wondering what the hell happened how can you get your first vlog deleted after just a couple of days well i got a phone call from someone involved in the vlog and they're like we don't like this scene. So because of the scene, I had to delete the entire thing. So what I'm going to do is re-upload this vlog uh, with some edits so you guys can check it out. If you haven't yet seen my first vlog, it will be up in a few days time. However, let's start with my second attempt at my first vlog, which is happening right now. And it's going to involve Ferraris and McLarens. Hopefully this vlog is going to be up for longer than three days. Let's see if I can beat my current record. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to another vlog. I've got some exciting stuff happening today. I've just walked out of the apartment. Uh, first up, I'm going to show you a couple of the cars outside. This is uh, one of the reasons why I love living on the palm here in Dubai, because you get to see the most amazing cars all the time. So I've literally just walked downstairs and we've got two GTSs here, one after the other. do you guys like best? I think I'd have to go for the silver. There's something about this particular color on a Mercedes that always works. It doesn't matter what Mercedes it is. I just think it works. Now I'm just going to get into my IA. We're going to go, I'm trying not to get run over here. <laughs> We're going to go for a, a late breakfast, very late breakfast. It's almost lunchtime. Here's my IA. I've had this car since last December. So what's that like 10 months or so? No, not even nine months or so. And I still absolutely love driving it. I'm one of these people who has to change their cars like almost every year. Not because I get bored of it. I just want to like kind of change it up. So I am going to be driving this car for the next few months, but then I'll probably change and get something else. So the original color of this car was blue. And then I thought, nah, that's too boring. I got like a gray and yellow dual tone. I suppose you can see that for yourself because the most beautiful thing to me about an i8 is these lines you know coming down here and here it's so futuristic but on the normal color you can't see the lines that much so I thought I'd highlight them in yellow just so you can see how beautiful the car is and then of course I got the AC schnitzer kit that's the spoiler here but also I got a Vorsteiner a rear diffuser if you can see that I got that added on extra and then if you come over here you've got the bigger rims forged and then you've just got a bit more of a body kit now around the front here as well. But the one thing that makes it hugely different is how much lower it is. They've lowered it like quite a lot. So I need to be super careful going over speed bumps. And in Dubai, it's a major hazard. There are speed bumps everywhere. Let's go. So when you press start, can't hear anything. Engine's now on, it's in electric mode. If you want to switch on the petrol engine, you actually put it in drive and then switch it over and now it's uh, running on the petrol engine. All right, so now it's in normal hybrid mode and you can see on the dash, it's blue. And if you switch this over this way, just flick it across, it turns to red. I really, really like that feature. It's in sports mode now. And then if you want it in full electric mode, we'll just switch that back and then press the E drive. That's now gonna run on full electric mode. However, I have zero kilometers left. So actually it's gonna take me nowhere. <laughs> so I can't actually drive in electric mode today. So normal hybrid mode it is, let's go. That would cost a fortune. So I'm just gonna flick it over into sports mode and that's gonna now charge the battery for me while I drive. Sometimes I have to crawl out of the car because it only opens like this far to duck and crawl. Do like a duck and crawl maneuver. I'm like so good at that right now. Let's go for lunch. This is one of my favorite places. Guys, lunch is over because we've got far better things to do. You will not believe, but we are about to go and see the most incredible car. And I don't put that lightly. I have never seen this car in my life. And do you know how Dubai is? There are such incredible cars everywhere you go. Never seen this one before. And we've just had an invite to come down and see it. So this is where we're going. 
Just before we go uh, see the car, I actually left my glasses in the 720S. My geeky glasses, not these ones. So I have to go by the McLaren showroom right now and hopefully they are in there because I can't see without them. You're at the McLaren showroom. And now I've got to find my glasses somewhere. Let me show you around first because there are some incredible cars in here. And this colour especially is just amazing. Look at this incredible colour. I'm not sure if you can see it like I can. delivery. This is a way to get your glasses delivered isn't it? Personal delivery in a 720S. <laughs> I'm gonna leave my glasses behind more often I think. It's a good strategy to see the car again. <gasps> Yay! Yay! Yeah, so we've just arrived at the showroom. I'm gonna take you through Right at the back is what we're looking for, but on the way there are some pretty incredible cars as well. So let's go in. I mean, by anyone's standard, these cars are something to see on their own. I'm actually gonna be driving pretty much this exact same car in Switzerland next week. We're gonna be picking it up from ENS, a luxury car rental. I'm gonna be driving it through Switzerland and down into Italy and then back. So I'm super looking forward to driving this car. So instead of moving the seat, you pull this lever. I'm not going to pull it again now because they're kind of in the right place and then the pedals move towards you so you don't have to move the seat forwards. La Ferrari Aperta. Literally everyone, every showroom wants this car in Dubai. I have never seen one before so this is really something special. I've never driven one before. This is a moment. Just to hear the engine go on, you just think, what is this? What is this car? And we're just about to take the roof off and then we'll really be able to feel the Aperta. Only 200 of them were sold by invitation. This one only has 88 kilometers on the clock. And so the owner's not really meant to be selling it. If you do that in Europe to sell it before you own it for two years, then apparently you'd be blacklisted from Ferrari and they won't give you another special car again. So they're selling this car for $7.1 million. And look who has the key. 
<laughs> That's as close to owning a La Ferrari Aperta I will probably ever get in my life just holding the key in my hand and being able to drive it. I mean, that's still pretty special. This car actually just has the soft top roof. Um, you have to order the hard top carbon roof extra and it's about 120,000 euros extra just for the hard top. Isn't that unbelievable? So this one just comes with the carbon fiber around the outside here and then the soft top that you can take off with just a few clicks on this side and the other side. All right. Okay, we've just been warming up the engine so we can hear it. Are you ready? It's crazy. That's insane. How many revs did you do? Not very that? many. Like 5,000. 6,000. Oh and it sounds crazy. like that. Wow. Look, it's pretty easy to get this roof off. See, we've just put that back on now. So there are just two clips on both sides. You just flick that across and flick this one across and then it basically just comes off. Look, super easy. But it would just, I won't do it all now because we've done this already, but you just kind of wrap it up like this. It's pretty cool. So I'm just going to bring this up here to back in. So in this one you've got the actual manual key that you put in first, you turn that and then you press the start button. And it's just got, got the parking down here like any other Ferrari fire extinguisher. There's the view in the mirror. Going off. There it is, the Ferrari Aperta key. So this is about 2.3 seconds, 0 to 100. I've never driven anything that fast before. It's a machine. And right next to this carbon series E1, only one of five. And there's one right next to the Aperta. I mean, where do you get this? Where do you get this? And check this out. Full gold in here. This is real gold. Can you see that? Look who has the key. Me. <laughs> well, I really need to go and work it out. Majid, how much is this one? 3.5 something. 3.5. Hmm? Yeah. 3.5 million dollars. Uh, zero to 100, 2.6. So. I've just driven the uh, La Ferrari Aperta, which I still cannot believe I'm saying that. And you walk over here and you have the 458 Speciale Aperta. And if you notice, the colour is divine. It's a special order colour and it's about 100,000 dirhams extra. So what's that? About $30,000 extra just to get this colour. I'm not sure if you can see it properly, but it's not the typical Ferrari red. And now I've got the key to the McLaren P1 Carbon Series. Carbon fibre everywhere you look. Seven seconds to go, six, five. How is that drive? 
Woo, baby! Compared I got up to like 200 kilometers now. Compared to the LaFerrari? <laughs> this compared to the LaFerrari. Not just the LaFerrari, excuse me, the LaFerrari Aperta. <laughs> Let's see you get out of this. Yeah, now this is a challenge. really like getting out of a bathtub. Oh, you're slow. <laughs> oh my god, it could be more elegant. Ta-da! Just finished driving the P1 Carbon Series. I mean, honestly, every word out of my mouth today is almost unbelievable. I don't believe what I'm saying myself. So, here is the beast. 2.6 seconds, zero to 100, and obviously it's just carbon fiber till the eye can see. It was like just a tiny bit of suede there and I thought, gotcha, that's not carbon. Now I'm gonna say goodbye to these guys. They've been awesome, letting me drive all their most fantastic cars today. <laughs> and that's a wrap, guys. That's the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for joining me. Did you know the P1 has very poor oh, no. fuel consumption? Shocking. Oh. P1 carbon series, poor. Oh, well, I'm not gonna get it anymore don't then. Buy, don't buy it. No, so it's not worth it. <laughs> this has been such an amazing day. These guys down here at GTR Motors have been just incredible. They said, come down, drive our cars. I said, I'll see you there. Just to say that I've driven both this carbon series and the LaFerrari Aperta is just insane to me. I cannot believe it. What do you think of mommy's vlogging? Do you like it? No. <laughs> no reaction whatsoever. Are you sure? What do you think of mommy's vlogging? Do you like it? Can I get at least a little tail wag? Do you oh, thanks baby. See, he's my greatest supporter. <laughs>